Hey boys and girls, happy Sunday. Well, maybe it's Sunday when you're watching this. It certainly isn't Sunday when I'm filming this. I'm filming this on a Friday, and it just so happens to be the first day of Major League Baseball. It's called opening day. Well, at least it would be. But as you know, there's some crazy stuff happening in our world right now, and among other things, baseball definitely isn't happening. But nonetheless, I'm a huge St. Louis Cardinals fan, and I've been a St. Louis Cardinals fan my entire life. And I've seen the team have really great years, and I've had seen the team have some really not so great years. And in fact, several years ago, the St. Louis Cardinals won the World Series. That's like the championship game for all of Major League Baseball. They were the best team in the world that year. And the very next year, all of their fans were so excited, and they wore their jerseys, and they wore their hats, and they had their pennants, and they were waving them around and saying, Go Cards! Go Cards! And they had such high hopes of the Cardinals doing it again and winning the championship. But you know what happened? They didn't. And in fact, they had one of their worst years ever. They were awful. And some of those fans that were cheering them on last year the next year, we're booing them. Now, not the diehard fans like me. I was still strong in supporting them. But some fans, they had such high expectations of that team that they thought they were just going to reign forever. But it wasn't the case. So those, yay, go cards, turned to boo. Well, boys and girls, that reminds me of a story, a very special story that we're talking about today. Palm Sunday. And that's the story of Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. Can I tell you that story? It goes like this. When Jesus and his friends got close to the city, Jesus said, I'd like two of you to go borrow a donkey in the next village over. Please tell the owner I need it. He'll understand. When his two friends came back with the donkey, Jesus climbed on its back and rode down the hill into the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Suddenly, they found themselves in a parade. People were singing and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, here comes God's king, Hosanna, praise God. People all over heard the shouting and singing, and they joined the parade too. Hundreds of people, thousands of people. They started taking off their coats and laying them on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on. They pulled palm branches down from the trees and waved them as they sang. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a path for Jesus. The crowds gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. But Jesus was a very different king. He was a king of peace. And not everyone understood that. Jesus was not at all what they were expecting. They thought the crowd was too loud and the parade was getting too big. Who is that man, someone asked. What's going on here, asked another. The crowd answered, this is Jesus, God's king. He has come to save us. Some of the religious leaders murmured, hush, Jesus, tell your friends to be quiet. It's way too loud here. But Jesus said, we can try to make these people be quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference because today the whole earth is celebrating. Boys and girls, people were definitely excited to see Jesus. They were so excited that instead of waving pennants like this, they took palm branches like these, and they waved them as Jesus rode into town. And they took off their coats, and they threw them on the ground so that Jesus had something to ride on. And they were so excited to see him, because here was this promised king who was going to save them. They were big fans of Jesus that day. But you know what? It didn't last for long. Just one week later, those cheers of Hosanna, God is King, turned to shouts of crucify him, kill him. They went from fans to enemies. And in that short time, we saw who God really was and his great love for us. That even though they were one day cheering for him and the next day, booing him and yelling to crucify him, God still loved those people and died for them. 
Well, that makes me think of my life. There have been times where it's been really easy to be a fan of Jesus and to say, yes, God, you are awesome. And usually those are the times when things are going really, really well for me. And then there's been times in my life where I've said, come on, God, really? And those have been times where maybe things weren't going so well. But no matter where I'm at or how I'm feeling, God loves me so much. And it doesn't matter how I might be feeling towards him. He still is the king. And he still has great plans for us because he has great love for us. Some boys and girls, as you think about today, Palm Sunday, I want you to get that picture in your mind of Jesus, that triumphant king riding into town on a donkey, palm branches waving all around him, people shouting Hosanna. But also remember, just a week later, when he stretched his arms out wide on the cross and died for you because of his love. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and happy. And I hope to see you again real soon. Would you pray with me now? Heavenly Father, we thank you for all you have given us. Today, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who is our king. Lord, help us to remember that. And even when we're cheering him on or maybe have big doubts in our minds, help us to know that you are in control and help us to love each other as much as you love us. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, boys and girls.